What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be going ahead and doing all of our ticket pulls for the brand new, well, newly released, basically, uh, Doflamingo Ranking Event. So if you guys have no idea what this ranking event is, uh, make sure to go ahead and check out the campaign news video that I made when this news actually went out on the global side of the game, because I went into deeper detail as to what this event actually was. But for a very, very quick refresher, basically, you run this once a day for seven days, and your cumulative score at the end of the event will give you a certain amount of rewards. So we can go to the ranking event right now and we can actually see what rewards that we are going to be getting. So the goal is to reach 500,000 damage in, in as many taps as possible in one run. So my total at the moment is 29. That's the best that I've ever gotten. I've actually matched 29 a couple of times now. I just can't seem to break it. It's pretty difficult, honestly. I don't see too many people reaching the 230 uh, tap timings uh, overall. It's going to be very, very difficult to do so. Um, but yeah, you can see you can get uh, cotton candy, uh, one cotton candy each for 100 times, which isn't that much. You get 10 rainbow gems at 200 though. So that's really awesome. I'm really hoping I can get to 200 and get my hands on the 10 rainbow gems. And then we have the level 3 bounty, which is going to be 5 auto heal, 5 bind, and 5 despair um, tomes, which is actually not too bad either. Those are pretty nice rewards, but this is a pretty difficult event. Now, the whole reason why a lot of people are farming this is if you go to the Chopper Man missions, you can actually see that there are some pretty dope rewards available to you if you run this event. So we can actually see that there's... Um there's actually rare recruit tickets here. I've actually gotten uh, three rare recruit tickets at the moment. I have not used them. We will be using them in this video. And as you can see, we are one run away from a guaranteed Sugo Fest exclusive character. So I'm really excited for that. I'm not really expecting it to be anything new, but you just never know. So let's go ahead and do this last run and we'll record it for you guys right now. And just kind of like how I've been going through this actual dungeon. So definitely the best team for this is a double Lucy team. So hopefully you guys guys out there that did pull on the Christmas Sugo, if you guys did not have Lucy, you now have access to Lucy. He's the best unit for this. Uh, if you don't have Lucy, you can still run like a double V2 Luchi team. He is also very, very good for this. Uh, and also like double six, six star Lord, the, 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 the quick version. The quick version of Lore is very, very good for this and you can build a striker team with that. But this is the team I'm going to be running with and let's just see how we go. Now, obviously you can go ahead and just beat it as many times as possible really, really quickly. But obviously the goal is the ranking mission. You have to try and reach your goal of 500,000 damage with as many taps as possible. Now, any sort of special ability that, uh, does, that does damage does not count towards your total. Um, so let's go ahead and do this here. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Lucy special. The only specials that we need to fully KO the last room are the Boa sisters. We'll really stand Azonia. We want to keep her for the final room. And uh, all we really are trying to do is try and get type advantage on as many units as possible. And trying to just be efficient with your orbs, basically. So that you can have matching orbs on units that you don't have type advantage for. And typically when you have type advantage, you do more damage. And you'll probably reach that max threshold. So let's go ahead and see how we do here. Boom. Boom. Okay, we just reached that there. I was really I was really worried about that character not having a matching all, but there we go. We've beaten all those characters with 500,000 damage with every single tap. This room here is, is honestly like really like RNG dependent because if you don't get good orbs, you will not be able to reach like 500,000 damage on those turtles. So that can kind of kill you if you do not get matching orbs. So we actually want to save our matching orbs for these turtles here. So let's go ahead, see how we go. So we did it. Oh, we did it. Nice. There we go. Okay, so perfect run so far. We've gotten 500,000 damage on every single character. We're going to use our secondary Lucy special here. This room is actually pretty easy to beat because you have a lot of different type advantage and you basically use matching orbs on characters that you don't have type advantage for. So, once again, let's go ahead and do it. Boom. 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 And now we have two matching orbs for the two non-type advantage characters. And boom, there we go. So again, this has been a perfect run so far. And we get Mark Vice. Okay, so Mark Vice, again, is a character that is uh, one of the more beneficial ones to get. So you can get more taps on the enemy. The the one that you don't really want to be getting is Dellinger. If you get Dellinger, you have to use your Olombus special to make it a little bit easier for you. But this, this room can be quite annoying as well because the two mobs at the back have really high defense. Uh, honestly, like you could use like Sanders only to lower their defense, but I kind of need that for the final room. Otherwise, I won't be able to kill the final room. Uh, but you could get a lot of taps off on the final room if you just attack normally. But uh, let's go ahead and and, uh, and use just our regular taps here. 
All right. Boom. Uh, we didn't get over 500. We did there. Okay, so we actually got a lot of damage off on that on those guys there. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get an additional 500,000 damage there. Ah, we just missed out there on 455,000. But now in the final boss room, we got the Dofi variation. The better variation, honestly, is when Peek is by himself because he has more health and you can actually take your time with him and you can get lots of different taps off on the enemy. When you have Doflamingo here, he puts a lot of pressure on you, so you really have to try and ta uh, take down Doflamingo as quick as possible. Otherwise, he just does a lot of damage to your crew, obviously, because when he appears, your health gets cut by a fair amount. So actually, we're not even going to worry about taps here. We're just going to completely finish off this run and then move on to our tickets. So let's go ahead and do this. We get a lot of damage off here. Uh, not really worrying about taps right now. But when you have Pika by himself, it's really good because you don't need to go ahead and full burst him in one turn because you can just use your, your uh, specials, just keep going along the way, and you can deal lots and lots of damage really, really quickly. But if you take your time with the enemy, you can actually get lots of different taps of 500,000 on the enemy before you kill him. And typically, you'll get the most taps on the last stage with Pika, is how I've found it so far. And there we go. There we have the special rare recruit ticket. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. It looks amazing. And we are going to get straight into the ticket pools. You can see here, um, my score before is 29. We got 23 on that run, which is not the greatest, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead now and check out those, uh, those tickets that we have sitting in our mailbox they do go to your mailbox once you achieve them so just in case if anyone was wondering so at the top there we've got the suga fest exclusive character but before that we have three separate four star or better tickets so i'm hoping from these tickets we can get either baccarat or dice or psy carrot those are the three rare recruits i would love to get the most currently right now We'll see what we get, though. We'll see. Uh, you can get Legends from these tickets as well. It is 4-star or better, and I believe some people on Discord have stated that they've already gotten a Legend from them. Let's see if we can get that type of luck. I'm not expecting it, but let's see. There's a Gold. Come on. Is it one of the three that we want? Ah, it's Psy Sugar. That's a pretty good rare recruit, honestly. A, a better than majority of the rare recruits in the game on Global right now. So it's a good rare recruit. I can use it for Limit Break. It's not, honestly, a terrible rare recruit to get. All right, so let's move on now. The secondary one. Now, it also says here you can no longer uh, use these after the 4th of February. So definitely get these tickets and use them pretty much straight away, honestly. The bonus rare recruit will include characters as of January 8th. So any new characters that come out while this event is out, you will not be able to pull from them. And the above rare recruit will not include special characters. So characters from special events like the Christmas stuff and the Valentine stuff and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Uh, the 30 runs completed. Four star or better rare recruits. Maybe, hopefully, we can get a little bit more luck here. Honestly, I, I would scrap all the luck from the gold tickets just to get a good luck red ticket. But let's see what we get from the second gold ticket. We get a good, another gold, another gold. Oh, Kiros. Oh, that is the old Kiros too, bro. Oh, dude, that is that is trash. I mean, like honestly, like the chance of you getting something amazing from these tickets is pretty low. Like, it, it, it's pretty low, but... Oh, man, that sucks. But let me know down below in the comment section what you guys have gotten from your tickets so far. Are you guys going to be going ham on this event to get those tickets? I know a lot of people are not going to do it because, you know, it's a lot of effort to, you know, spend all this time farming the event. But as you saw, like, we can beat this event pretty easily. And you get some pretty decent drops along the way. The Chopman missions give you lots of good limit break stuff. So if you're low in limit break stuff, I would suggest farming this. It is quite worth doing. But honestly, I can understand why you wouldn't be doing it either because the chance of you getting something new is pretty pretty low last gold ticket we have right here can we can we end these golds on a, on a high note can we can we do it can we go with dice bark right or carrot that would have been amazing if all three tickets were that but <laughs> let's see what we get here last gold ticket is a gold no red and Blamingo, bro. Oh no this is this is not a good sign this is <laughs> this is a terrible sign right now all right, so uh, let, let me go ahead and uh, unprotect these because we do not need these protected anymore. We can delete these later. Okay, so now we have the guaranteed Sugo Fest exclusive. You clear it 70 times and you get a guaranteed red. Technically, it's a free legend. So let's go ahead and do it. I am, I'm, I'm worried, man. All this time farming this event, is it going to be worth it? Now, honestly, in terms of reds that I would love to get, Gear for Luffy, Nami... V2 Akainu, those are the three that I would love to get right now. I mean, Legend Frankie would be cool because he is getting his 6 plus uh, very, very soon. So he'd be a really good unit to grab as well. So let's see what our red ticket's going to be. Not expecting much here. <laughs> it's a red. It's a red. Oh, 
<laughs> yo, yo, holy shit, this is actually new for this account. You know what? You know what? I I'll take it. I I'll actually take it. That's that's pretty goddamn good. Holy crap. I actually can't believe it. It's a new legend for this account. That's that's freaking sick. All right. You know, those golds were, were pretty significant let down. And honestly, if I had buggy, I'd be pretty pissed as well. But that's a new legend for this account. Holy crap. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Holy crap. Okay, so this is going to conclude this video right here, guys. Uh, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys are going to be farming this. And if you guys have farmed it, what did you get from the tickets? I'd love to know. But anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you guys have, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.